I would like to introduce you to them. Uh, first, Dean. Dean, would you raise your hand? <laughs> That's Dean Ariyama. Uh, he is uh, son of Len and Kathy Ariyama of, of Mason, Michigan, originally from Chicago. He has been an educator for 24 years and moved here three years ago with his new wife, Mary Ellen, and I had the, the honor of officiating at that union. Uh, he is the father of Madeline, age 18, who is now at Hope College, Michigan, of Samantha, <laughs> who is uh, 17. She's a junior at Kenny Bunk High School. Caleb, whom you will meet later, who is six, a first grader at Kenny Bunk Elementary, and Alenia, age four, who is a preschooler at Kenny Bunk Toddle Inn. Uh, Dean travels as an education consultant, and he is a member of KIMS. Uh, please refrain from clapping until everyone has been introduced. Uh, next, Mary Ellen, C.B. Ariyama. Uh, she is the daughter of Donnie C.B., the granddaughter of Harrison and Eleanor C.B. Uh, despite moving to New Hampshire in third grade, she has always considered Cape Porpoise to be her home. After establishing her professional career and personal self, she was blessed to meet her husband, Dean, marry here in 2009, and finally to return back home uh, in 2010. With the addition of Samantha and Caleb and Alenia, uh, she feels so grateful to have her family complete and to be again connected to her roots. Mary Ellen Ariyama. Uh, Mike Pozzoni. Would you raise your hand, Mike? <laughs> Mike is originally from, you know, Minnesota. Thank you. <laughs> from Minnesota, originally from Minneapolis. He worked as a problem solver and systems builder. He is an introvert. Uh, he loves music and loves to play wind instruments with many groups, and he started to sing again. Uh, Mike is very glad to be here. And standing next to Mike is his wife, Linda Lucas. Raise your hand, Linda. Uh, Linda's never joined a church before, and she's somewhat surprised to find herself standing in front of a congregation. <laughs> uh, she was drawn to the church on the Cape because from the very first time she attended, it seemed like a happy place. She's looking forward to getting to know people and becoming part of the church community through participating in different activities. Like Mike, Linda is also an introvert. Uh, she loves to read, travel, and study French. She wants to go to Russia, and she is considering studying Russian. So, uh, <laughs> we were talking about that. You have inborn tutors right here. And um, would you like to read the next so people don't get sick of hearing my voice? No? All right. <laughs> Sandy Day. Sandy. Um, spent several years vacationing at Goose Rocks Beach and has always felt like when she came here, she was coming home. When it was time to retire, Goose Rocks was her destination. She's joined Senior Moments, which evolved into her coming to the church, thanks to Burl Samia. Uh, she loves the sense of community and caring that she has found here, and we are grateful to have her. Then... Liz Phillips. <laughs> Liz was born in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, she describes herself as an Air Force brat. Uh, she moved to Maine from Birmingham, Alabama in 1991. If she spoke, you wouldn't need that introduction, but. <laughs> she uh, married a real Mainer um, who was born and raised in Kennebunk. She's worked for two television stations in the Bangor market as their southern Maine sales manager. She loves to travel and sing, and she loves the Church on the Cape. John Nelson. John Nelson moved here from Wesley-by-the-Sea in September. He came from Swansea, New Hampshire. He is married to the Reverend Ann Nelson, a retired Methodist clergy, who has joined the Church on the Cape as her charge conference. John was born in Quincy, Massachusetts, lived in Situate, um, where he had his uh, shop at Situate Harbor, is that right? And um, 
He is very proud of the fact that he married his minister. Uh, Karen Pardue. Uh, Karen is a resident of Kennebunk, having moved here to Maine 20 years ago from Connecticut. The happiest and most fulfilling part of her life has been her 35 years of marriage to her husband, Mike. This is Mike. <laughs> As you may have already heard, they have three wonderful children, David, Jeff, and Colleen, and one grandson, Joshua. Karen is transferring her membership from Christchurch Kennebunk to here. She's enjoying meeting all the wonderful people and becoming involved with this joyous congregation. She is currently an associate dean at UNE in the College of Health Professions. Michael Pardue, a resident of Kennebunk, married to Karen for 35 years, a father of three wonderful children, <laughs> uh, <laughs> owner of a management consulting firm that provides services on a global basis to corporate and municipal clients. He currently serves as a director of public safety, police chief, and fire chief for the city of Westbrook. Lois Small. Uh, Lois moved here from Winthrop, Maine to Kennebunk about a year ago to live closer to her two sons and their families. She's met so many people in this church that she's known in years past. She's very happy to be here. Lois Small. Uh, Mary Elise Thomas. A local pastor, she is delighted to have retired here, again from Wesley by the Sea, and is looking forward to new friends and activities that she hasn't had time to pursue until now. She comes from a ministerial family and loves to help. I can already vouch for that. Uh, how many generations in the ministry for you? Eight. Eight generations in the ministry. Uh, Donald Thomas. He uh, has his membership in Northern Illinois, also a retired United Methodist minister, 50 years in the ministry, 39 years in the Northern Illinois Conference, 13 in the New England Conference, sharing ministry as a team with his wife, Mary Elise. And as I mentioned before, they are now living at Wesley by the Sea in Wells. And uh, Sharon needs no introduction. She's already preached twice. Uh, but we are so grateful that she has acknowledged and claimed the Church on the Cape as her charge conference. So welcome. Uh, standing ovation is most appropriate. <laughs>